Today is today is Monday, March nineteenth, twenty twelve. I've just got an amplifier back in and uh, brought the uh, gentleman brought the speaker cabinet with him. I wanted to show you what I pretty sure is a problem. This is a Marshall uh, cabinet with uh, four twelves in it, and uh, let me show you how it's wired. Okay, here's a white wire coming from the plug white wire goes up to the positive po the negative the purple one wired over to the positive here's the negative wired if I can follow this down to the positive the negative over to the other positive if you can see the little red dots down there and then the negative here, going back to the other side of the plug. Well, that's actually correct for wiring speakers in series. You put them in series like you put batteries in a flashlight in series, plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. Problem is, is look at this. If you can read that, they're all 15 ohms. 15 ohms, and so on a little thunderstorm outside. 15 ohms, all wired in series, gives you 60 ohms. 60 ohms. 60 ohms is plugged into this Marshall here. Uh, it takes out this fuse right here. I haven't completely, uh, I haven't gone over this one again, but here's what it did to it. Um, I'm going to try to get the fuse out here. See the fuse there? This is catastrophically blown. My guess is the uh, EL34s are bad. They probably shorted. So what we, he had it hooked up as uh, 16 ohms right here, which is correct. That's what the cabinet said, but the cabinet is 60 ohms. So when you've got an impedance, when you've got your amplifier impedance so improperly set to a speaker cabinet, what's going to happen is the speaker cabinet has such a high impedance it's going to let the voltages soar dramatically and the secondary impedance which is what feeds that speaker is reflected back into the primary impedance and the voltages across these tubes are going to be enormous and it doesn't surprise me that they probably shorted and went bad that's probably the end of them <clears throat> but anyway I guess the uh, the major issue here is, is the speakers and I, I've been asked some questions about speakers before and they are indeed wired in series properly but to get 16 ohms they would each have to be 4 and since they're 15 we're going to end up with 60 and I just don't think that's going to work at all hope this helps okay well we've got them wired correctly now let's see if the light's good enough got the plus with this one to the plus the one down here top and bottom are wired parallel plus to plus minus to minus same over here plus to plus minus to minus then we got one running between them to put some in series from plus over here to minus then we come off with a plus and a minus here to the cable which is not wired up yet but they are they're actually wired like this if you look at the speakers the four uh, here's the way they are one two three four See? plus to plus minus to minus that puts them parallel so two 16 ohm speakers they call them 15 15 ohms 16 ohms we're calling them the same thing which makes seven and a half ohms or eight ohms if they're 16 which put in series with these two parallel make seven and a half ohms and uh, in series they're back at 15 15 16 ohms same difference and there's our, our output down there so it's wired properly now and uh, I'm sure the uh, amplifier will like it much better I also use um, I use zip cord lamp cord whatever you want to call it this number probably number 16 this is what it was wired with probably some number 
22, maybe number 20. I don't know exactly how. That's some pretty skinny wire. Not that it's really going to make a big difference, but it just uh, just doesn't. Uh, I just don't like that little skinny wire in a, in a speaker circuit. Also, uh, tied them down nicely over here, keep them from vibrating. Do the best you can. And over here, and then down here. So in case the uh, output jack gets worked on, you, you can't jerk the uh, the terminal off the speakers. So there you go. Hope that helps.